Hey everybody, this is Garrett. And I'm Carolyn. We're Die of a Family and wanted to give you a quick update from you our last week. We start every single video with quick updates. <laughs> it's not quick. Our last video was almost a half an hour long. So, <laughs> our update, weekend update. There weekend you go. update. And normally we do these on Saturdays. Yesterday we were a bit busy. Yeah. Traffic, we, a birthday party, traveling from Vancouver up we probably to did a, Olympia. We, we did over 100, 200 and, uh, 250 miles you know, over Friday and Saturday. Yeah. So a lot of driving. Yeah. And so. <laughs> well, greetings from sunny Washington. We're on the western side of the mountains. I understand that the eastern side is being attacked by hornets. Yeah. Sorry about that, John Hebert. <laughs> um, we do not have any yellow jackets. Yep. And we don't have bags and bags full of them either. We do have a lot of smoky smog. Yep. It's not that bad today, actually. Yeah. And it definitely wasn't as bad as last year when the fires were all burning 40 miles away. Yeah. So definitely thinking about all our firefighters out there fighting fires um, this time of year all over the United States, actually. Yep. Yeah. So we got some cool things in store for you today. Yes. Um, we have a quick preview of a video coming up later yeah. so stay tuned for that and uh, what let's let's start off with uh, a house update house update okay uh, um, what did we do on Sunday Sunday what, evening what did we do on Sunday evening uh, last week we <laughs> met with our uh, real estate agent oh right oh my to gosh to review this seems like old news I know to review the offers that were put on the table we had nine offers all together. That's, nine. That's, if you that's guys, nine. If nine. you guys follow us on Instagram, you would have seen our, our picture that evening of those nine offers laid out on the table. It, it was pretty crazy. Because we, we, we didn't know that there was nine no. offers. We, we, we knew six. that there was like six yeah, or, six. you know. <coughs> so we went ahead and we picked two offers, uh, one to be our primary one and one to be a contingent offer. Mm -hmm. And it was a good thing that we did that because... Yep. Um, on Friday, so about five days after we had agreed to um, start the process, start the process, the that family dropped out because of, you know, as we were going through the process, things had to be revealed, and yep. it was just something due to the septic being um, for a three-bedroom house, a three-bedroom house, and ours is a four-bedroom, and they were uncomfortable with that, and that's totally understandable. So um, our contingent family uh, has accepted, as far as I know, and yep. we're, we're working through that process, have not heard anything back since Friday. Um, and so our house is pending. Yep. Pending, so. what, a September 10th, hopefully, September 10th. closing. It's not, it's still, it's only really about three days more than what the other closing was. So it's yep. not really putting us that far off schedule, which we're really no, happy about. Not bad at all. So... Uh, that happened. Yep. Um, our plan is still, we're planning to be out of this house by September 1st. Uh, let's clarify. We have been moved into the trailer for yes. about two weeks. Yep. The house is standing empty. We do take showers or use the restroom or use the washing machine and dryer. So uh, some of the amenities, the we try to keep it minimal. Yeah, the house is empty. Yeah. And, um, and we just have to get through a few more items in the garage that need to be sorted out for giveaway garbage uh storage yeah. uh we're working through some paperwork that we need to to scan in to get yeah. um digital digitalized so. uh this week i'll probably be trying to get a uh toolbox installed in the, in the truck in the truck so all of our main tools are going to be stored in the truck itself yeah we realize we have lots of storage in our trailer but not enough to take tools yeah. So we definitely are going to need that truck bed toolbox for sure. And from what we can tell, from what our mechanic has told us, that box will fit with our hitch. Yes. Because uh, we have a uh, Polarite Super Glide, and we'll link a video to that, or li put a link to that video so that you can go see what we got. But we got the Super Glide, which is an auto glide, an auto um, pull. Uh, Auto adjusting hitch. It's a pretty sweet hitch. Yeah, it's really nice, it's and we sweet. really like it. So we've watched a few a few videos on YouTube um, where they actually videotape them pulling their trailer, and the way that the hitch slides and moves, it's so neat. It's very. It, it's very basically cool. allowing you to use a normal a normal trailer on a short bed hitch on a short bed. Um, 
so uh, vehicles that could tow it but don't have the clearance you, you know you might be hitting the back of your truck this allows it to swing out further so you don't have that issue so that's kind of i think we think it's a pretty cool thing we decided to we didn't want us to go cheap on our hitch because it's really i mean it's towing our home yeah yeah it is it's towing our home and we need it to work right we need the best of the best so yeah we chose american made yeah so we're really excited really happy with their choices uh the few items we have left to major purchases is a backup camera slash monitoring system for the back of the trailer and a uh um a generator right so and we don't have need, a generator we're going to need that generator uh by mid-september when we're going to be doing some, some boondocking. boondocking out on a state park that will not have any hookups at all yep so it's we're not sure we have a few options that we're looking at we kind of got to balance power and weight because some of the generators we saw are, are pushing 100 pounds mm -hmm. and when we're already kind of not sure exactly where we are weight wise we don't really want to just throw 100 pounds on there and call it good yep. so <laughs> we'll definitely make sure to videotape our experience um, as we weigh our trailer the first time and find out how much we actually have loaded onto it yeah that should be interesting yeah i mean we'll probably dump our water or something when we do it just i mean or put down to a minimal amount of water that we would need because i don't know if we would want to travel with a full tank of water maybe like a third of a tank or something just so that we have some water if we need to on the road we'll find out what others have done in the past yep. what's the best option because as we know we are definitely newbies yep and the generator we're looking at is a 3100 watt generator that is about 50 pounds in weight so it's it seems like a decent one and you know we'll figure out if it's something that works for us so um Let's go ahead. Do we want to do shout outs now? Or do we want to do- I uh, want to talk about that darn mouse. Jeez. Yeah. If you look at the title, um, we got a, quite of an interesting story. I, I've i done some videotaping in the moment, but I was irritated and I was upset. And it was just the video quality on my phone. So I think I'll just talk about it here now. And we have some fire trucks going on here. Quite a busy road up and up and down here in front of our that's house. one of the reasons why we wanted to sell. Yes. It's yes. so busy right here. Um, so last night I was getting underneath the, the cupboard in the bathroom, underneath the sink, and I found a couple of my maxi pads, and they looked kind of, I don't know, scrapped Like someone, up. yeah. I was like, this looks like they've been chewed on. And so I did a little bit, uh, a little bit deeper digging, found a flashlight. Sure enough, I'm finding little mouse turds and I think even like a little puddle of urine. And I was just so, just so disgusted. Uh, we've only lived in the darn thing for what, two weeks? And it's only been in our driveway for a little over a month. I'm, I'm talking online, okay? Nice rocks. I see a pocket full of rocks. Go ahead and take your pocket full of rocks somewhere else. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I was so mad. Okay, so I cleaned out from underneath there and got everything re-put under. It didn't look like much was damaged except those two pads. Well, this morning, I found mouse turds all over my hand towels in the kitchen. And yeah. I was like, what the heck? If, you so know, if you've looked at the plumbing in the RVs, they, you could literally fit half a kid through the holes <laughs> that they create. So they cut a big hole and then they run their peck through it or the, the, or the power lines, the, piping, and all the that piping thing. for draining through it. And, and then there's these huge gaps around that hole. It's like a little mouse highway. Ah! So yeah. now our process is let's catch the mouse, but how do we keep the mice from coming back into the trailer? I mean, obviously they're in the undercarriage somewhere and I don't know that we can ever fix that part, but I can't have them crawling in and getting into my clean linens and then I have to wash them all. I had to go yeah. and wash all of the hand towels because a mouse had walked all over them and pooped on them. I'm thinking like something <sighs> like uh, steel wool. We might be able to put something like steel wool or something pack like that. Around a pack the... into the gaps. Anyway, if anybody has any other like 
better ideas, Rodent you had this control expen tips. experience in your trailer. I mean, the, the trailer is brand new. I thought they would have made it a little more mouse proof. They I don't probably know. just jumped in a vent or, or something like that. I they, guess those I things know. are really small. And the, and, the, and the droppings were pretty tiny, too. So yeah. it's probably a little guy. It's probably a, it feels like there's herds of them because of how much m mouse poop I cleaned up. It's probably one. Herds? Maybe two. Herds? Is that right? Herds of a mice? A herd of mice. A herd of mice. A, herd. a cackle of mice. A herd of mice. <laughs> a flock of mice. We have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so our mouse experience. Maybe we'll be able to figure it out on our own. We'd be appreciative if anybody had any cool ideas to take care of our mice issues. I yep. wish we could get our cat back from my mom, but he just wouldn't do well in our little tight space. And I know it's not the same as dealing with a thousand hornets or wasps or whatever, yeah. but... <laughs> that is definitely true. But it's still annoying. It and is I, annoying. I, I know like people like uh, Less Junk, More Journey, they've dealt with mice in their trailer. And so I know it's not an isolated incident. It's something that's probably pretty common. I guess I just expected not to have to deal with it until months down the road. Like, this is a brand new trailer, and why? Why? <laughs> well, and it might not be a coincidence that our cat has been gone for, like, three weeks. And now the mouse and is now just the now mouse, showing mice up. mice is starting to yeah. show back up. That could be it. Anyway, um, so I'm in a much better mood to share it with you now than me recording it in the moment. <laughs> very upset on my iPhone and trying to like mash that together in a video that you'd even want to watch. So it'll be a mom rant about mouse <laughs> video. I think I don't want to publish anything about mice until I have our answer. Yeah. Yeah. So, so. stay tuned. Maybe about mice. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah. All right. So. Um, back on, what was it, uh, Father's Day weekend, we did the main remodel back here. And so I, we put together a big video, but because we were getting into crunch time and all that, uh, we didn't get a chance to really put it together um, until now. So I wanted to show you a, just a quick, quick clip of that video. I think you guys would enjoy it. Um, I'll probably release it fairly soon. Um, probably in an hour or so after we do this live stream. Yeah. So stay tuned for that. So Maybe. go ahead and enjoy this quick clip. Good morning, everybody. This is Garrett with Diver Family, and today is the big remodel day. Um, what are we going to be doing? Well, for starters, we're going to be changing that into a door. We're going to be taking that door and making it a wall and we are going to be changing this unexplicable or am i there i am we're going to be changing this unexplicable sliding glass door that goes into our soon to be master room and turn it into a window like it should be so yeah let's jump right in and uh see what's going on So right in the middle of trying to get this window out and the people that that put the window in uh, they did not know what they were doing they cocked and screwed everything in we're literally having to cut the door the window out of the frame we should only be able to have to take the frame okay so hope you guys enjoyed that little tiny clip um, it is a longer video but it was a large very large project very large project so uh, we had some fun at home depot we had some fun the next day um so anyways i hope you guys will go over and check out that video as well when as we release it in about an hour when we release in about an hour <laughs> basically i just have to get the thumbnail done and i'll be ready to go <laughs> when, it's when it's time to say bye you can say bye okay all right, our shout outs. So we have been gaining subscribers steadily and we're very, steadily, very happy about steadily. it. Steadily. So many of you have decided to follow us and keep updated on what, what's going on. Um, we've actually been sharing with a lot of our friends and family about our change, our process, and they're like, oh, we want to keep up. And yep. so, and then there are those of you who subscribe and we don't know you. 
but you've decided to get to know us and that's absolutely fantastic. Yeah. So um, for this past week, the week of August 12th, we gained six subscribers for a total of 132. So I want to give a shout out to Medic-554, KLV400, who actually has a YouTube channel and um, I checked it out a little bit. He's uh, into guitars and rock music and is actually pretty sweet, you know, all those riffs and stuff. <laughs> Um, my friend Hannah Comerford and a friend at work, YYCU Tube. YYCUTUBE. Um, so thank you guys for joining. And then yeah. today, since this is the start of the new week, it's okay. She can come. She'll come. She'll come. You want to say goodbye? We're almost there. Um, so today we gained another subscriber for a total of 133. Hey, Timothy. 133. Stop picking your nose. Oh, children picking noses. What? Okay. We should come on in. Retitle this live thumbnail: Mice and Boogers. Mice and Boogers, because there it is. There it is. You're eating your boogers. Ew. Ew. All right. Uh, what is that? Plane number two. I will be so happy when we're in a quiet environment. Yeah. I think our first place get, is going to be really nice. Where we won't get our first place. Oh my gosh, we're so excited. <laughs> we're going to get to show you guys that. It's going to be fantastic. And actually, um, a number of our uh, full-timer friends have um, said that that's one of their most favorite place to be. Nice. And that they love it there or they've experienced it recently. So we're looking forward yeah. to going to Fall City and experiencing. Yeah. And now that we're going to be having more time, we're also going to be putting together videos on like our summer camping trip to Rainier. We did a lot of content at Rainier. We did over in June. Yeah. Yep. But because but. we're so busy with all of our remodel, we really had to just kind of table a lot of this. So we're going to start putting out more content, especially with our some of our summer things we did. So I mean like this remodel video it was a couple months ago that we put it together, but we're just now being able to get to. But exci it's so exciting. It's part of the process that we went through to get the house ready <coughs> and actually on the market. Yeah. yeah it was a sun sneeze. It was a sun sneeze, and you sneeze boogers all over the place. Yeah. Ew, all over my Definitely phone. retitling this video. Definitely retitling this video. <laughs> retitling it. Mice and, and boogers. boogers. Or something like that. All right. If you guys can come up with a better title for this, we will re retitle it uh, to your title. So, all Leave right, guys. Comments below, please. Comments. Emma, to me. You want to tell? Is for a shout out. It is. Well, I done my shout outs. You want to say goodbye to everybody? Aww. Do you have something you want to share with them? Say it to them now. They're right there. They're watching you right now. Mm -hmm. And also, this week we're going to go to Wild Waves. That's our hope. We'll see <laughs> how that actually works out. We will get to Wild Waves this year. Uh, Wild Waves is our local um, water park. park so. You might think, the Northwest, why do they have a water park? It rains most of the year. It does, but and we still like water. Yeah, we do. Water slides and everything, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. All right, Timmy, you want to say anything? Um, actually, we, we are soon going to live in a trailer. We are living in a trailer right now. Do yeah. you sleep in your trailer bed? Yeah. Yeah, do you like it? Yeah, it's a bunk bed. We it once a had bunk a bunk bed, bed <laughs> in the house we, we were right in front of. Yeah, we did have a bunk bed in there. Yep, mm -hmm. and now you have a bunk bed in the trailer. Yeah. What do you like best about the trailer, Emma? Um, about its storage. Oh, it's storage. Oh, you're like mommy. You like the storage. Timmy, what's your favorite part about the trailer? Um, uh, I like to eat in the trailer. Oh, does it have a nice kitchen and eating area? Yeah. That's awesome. He'll All right, eat, guys. And 10 minutes later, he's hungry for food. Oh, again. my gosh, yes. All right, in, in bottomless pit here. Well, everyone, thank you for joining us on this live video. Give us a thumbs up if you like this video. Hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell to get notified of another video and when we go live yeah. so that you can catch us live and not just after the fact. And we'll see you guys in another video. Thanks for joining us on our diary. Bye. 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 Bye.